Hey guys, this is Hydra from X Trades, and in this video, we're gonna recap what happened last week, and then we're gonna see um, what are the best setups for the upcoming week. So as usual, we'll we'll start off with the uh, indices. So spy and QQQ. Take a look at spy first. Um, all right, let's go to the weekly view first. So on the weekly, the uptrend is still holding. So this is the most important thing, right? Um, the uptrend is still holding so or I mean the trend line is still holding so we are still in an uptrend but that 444 is definitely a key resistance level rejected here once rejected here twice or consolidated and then it broke out but now it's trying to test or now it has to get back above that 444 level again so that is um, a major level of resistance so um, yeah Friday we we went down all the way uh, down to like 435, 430, 436 ish, but we did uh, form a pretty nice hammer and we did that on uh, increase in volume. So that is a good sign. And uh, again, nice bounce off that trend line. But um, so right now it could just chop until we get closer and uh, get tatter and tatter. But the key uh, levels are for for us to be back, for me to be bullish on the on SPY, we have to take uh, 444 back, and uh, for me to be bearish, then if we lose that, uh, if we lose 436, I'm gonna be bearish, and if we take over 444, then I'm gonna be bullish, and then, uh, until then, um, I think there's a good chance we're just gonna chop around. So that's pretty much it for the SPY. Um, now we'll take a look at QQQ. So same thing with the QQQ, it's holding up that trend line really well. And the uh, same thing, right? So that 369 or 370 level is a key resistance level. If we can get above that, then I'm bullish. And if we lose um, that 361 level, then I'm gonna be bearish. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And until then, we, we could just chop around. Um, but again, QQQ also formed a nice reversal candle. And I did that on an increase in volume. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. Yeah, not much to see, but that 370 level is definitely resistance, but we did bounce off that trend line. So um, yeah, I think uh, I think if we consolidate for a week or two, there could be some good opportunities coming. And uh, you know, overall, I still like the market. And as long as that trend line is holding, then I'll continue to be bullish. And uh, now we'll take a look at the big cap tech stocks. First up, Apple. So Apple is currently consolidating. Um, so it's in between that 181 and 177 level. Bearish below 177 and bullish over 181. Pretty simple here. But Apple is actually forming a pretty nice uh, flag here. So if it can take that flag out on Monday, that could be a buy signal. But yeah, Apple does look pretty good. Um, let's take a look at the weekly. Nice bounce here, and yeah, I think if we take that 181 level back, then um, that would be a really big positive for the market. Next up, AMD. So AMD on the weekly looks pretty bad still. It's still below that 107 level, so that's definitely not a good sign. And um, yeah, not much to see on the daily. Let's just go back to the weekly. So until we can take out this trend line. AMD is definitely a do not touch. Um, there's also an uptrend here. Yeah, AMD did break the uptrend, but I think that's why I removed it. But yeah, AMD is currently definitely very bearish here, and I would not touch it. Would not advise going long on this stock. Um, next up, Amazon. Amazon's um, yeah, Amazon's still holding up pretty well here. Had a really nice bull flag here and then broke out and now it's forming another bull flag and so far it's just been consolidating so perfectly normal action um yeah not too much to see on the daily it could potentially gap fill but um it is holding up pretty well nice hammer on friday and uh, take a look at the weekly chart again the uptrend is definitely holding so not too much to be concerned about has a lot of room so it can pull back still and still be above that uptrend or trend line so um yeah Amazon's holding up pretty well, and I think uh, a week or a week or two more con or a week of consolidation or two would be enough for it to flag properly and then break out again. Next up, let's take a look at Google. 
So Google actually tried to break out this week, so very bullish, but it ended up uh, being a failed breakout just because the market was so weak, but that's understandable. But Google still is holding up incredibly, incredibly strong. So um, yeah, Google has been showing relative strength the last couple of weeks. Hasn't pulled back at all. Or it has pulled back, but it's a very orderly pullback. And uh, yeah, it looks really good. But I think uh, Google has a good chance of seeing that 136 level soon. Next up, Meta. Meta is still below that um, trend line, so that is not good. But uh, that 289 level is a major resistance level for Meta, so it has to reclaim that ASAP. And uh, if it does that, then we could consolidate, chop around, or be bullish. But under that 290 level, definitely wouldn't want to be trying to uh, be bullish on this stock. But uh, yeah pretty much it for um, Meta. Next up, Microsoft. Take a, take a look at the weekly chart. So um, Microsoft is also below that trend line. It tried to retest it and reject it pretty hard. And that 325 level is definitely a major resistance level. So that's another, another thing that you have to watch out for. But let's go to the daily chart. So yeah, that 325 level is key. If we can take that out um, starting next week, that would be a good sign, and if we can reclaim that trend line, that would be an even better sign. But um, from there, there's there's room up to 344. Otherwise, it could just chop around. So those are the two possible scenarios. And uh, if it fails to reclaim 325, then it could potentially pull back to 309. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for Netflix. I mean, sorry, Microsoft. Next up, Netflix. So Netflix got a nice bounce off that trend line, so that's a positive, but it did fail to close below that, or it closed below that 420 resistance level, which is not great, but it is forming a pretty nice flag here, so we'll see if it can take that out, and if it can take that out, that would be a pretty nice buy setup. So just like Apple, forming a nice flag here, but um, yep, ideally we want to take that 420 out, 420 level out ASAP, and then make a rally up to 448. Overall, Netflix is holding up pretty well, and it's still above that trend line, so that's a positive. Next up, NVIDIA, the king of the market. So NVIDIA, um, let me remove all drawings. So NVIDIA reported earnings last week, and it gapped up. Um, yeah, it took out that 500 psychological level, and it actually opened above that level, but got faded all day long on Thursday, and then on Friday, um, it got faded faded more, but it did get a bounce at that 452 level. So that is a positive, but uh, the key levels for NVIDIA are that, or is that 480 level, and then uh, support is at that 452 level. So that's what I see for NVIDIA. If it can take out that 480 level, then it's bullish. If it loses that 452 level, then it's bearish. And until then, it could just chop around for a while. And it is also forming a flag, so. But overall, NVIDIA is definitely the strongest stock in this market, 100%, no doubt. Next up, Tesla. So Tesla got a really nice bounce this week, right? It was really extended last week to the downside, and then it finally got a really nice bounce on Monday, and now it's forming a really nice flag here. So this is actually a top watch for next week. Um, yeah, really nice flag forming, and I think has potential to break out make a move back up to uh, so it has it definitely has some resistance at that 240 level and then after that it has room to 270 so yeah um, Tesla is definitely a top watch here if it takes out that 240 level room it has room up to 270 but uh, yeah that's, let's take a look at the weekly chart as well and how much on the weekly chart but uh, they are breaking the downtrend very steep downtrend, but it is breaking. But yeah, that 240 level is well, that 240 level is key. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for Netflix or Tesla. And uh, next up, we'll take or yeah, we'll take a look at ARKK, how those stocks are doing. So the weekly chart looks like garbage, right? Um, there is an uptrend or trend line here, and it is holding actually. Did get a bounce off it bounce off that this week 
um, let's take a look so very important trend line that's holding and then draw resistance so definitely have some resistance at that 44.5 level and has uh, it had support at the 41.75 level but now that's turned into resistance take a look at the daily chart so these are the key levels it has to take out 41.75 ASAP and if it can do that then uh, it would be back to bullish or uh, it could just chop around but if it takes out that 41.75 level then it has room up to 44.5 but there's also again a chance that it could just chop around in between this range but so far a nice bounce off that trend line and uh, yeah but if we lose that trend line then this would for surely be a good short, short setup but um, yeah now we'll take a look at some of the best stocks for uh, next week so VRT I covered this stock before and I'm gonna cover it again just because the stock is so insanely strong um, this stock is also in AI so has a good theme going for it and uh, yeah it, it broke out on Friday and it's making new all-time highs and the overall really good action and I think uh, pull back to that 36.4 or 5 level would be a good area to buy but uh, yeah VRT is holding up really well this has all the characteristics of a big winner has that big gap up big volume consolidation and now breaking out really good action next up upwork also covered this one before but this one had a really strong rally on Wednesday and uh, it's been holding up really well this entire pullback so um, yes yeah, has been showing a lot of rel relative strength and one that you definitely want to keep on your radar go to the weekly chart on the weekly it looks like a nice bull flag forming it looks like it tried to break out this week but failed so more consolidation could be needed but yeah, this one's definitely a top watch and uh, really like the volume pattern here next up we'll take a look at fastly so this was a big winner in 2020 or 2020 and uh yeah this one's finally starting to show some strength recently so here's the first uptrend line and then also in the, so it's, it's forming a channel here um very clear resistance so right now it is at resistance but if it breaks that resistance level then it could go uh it could make a really big move right so clear resistance at that 21.1 level and i think that would be a good area to buy but uh yeah so far really good action um this one's been holding up really well compared to the market right market pulled back but no this one's just continuing to uh yeah trend higher so overall really good action and this is one that you want to keep your eye on for sure uh celsius next one so covered this one before as well and gonna continue covering it because it's acting really well um really strong gap up again really good earnings this one just continues to have um good earnings right multiple gaps gap ups it gapped up here on earnings again for the last time as well so yeah this one's the top fundamental stock um but yeah right now it's forming a really nice bull flag here and uh, a few more days of consolidation and then this one, this one can see um, a pretty big breakout move has a lot of potential it's at all-time highs and yeah it's been acting incredibly well and i think it can go to 200 potentially um but yeah that's pretty much it for celsius and then last but not least carvana so this one yeah this one's forming a really nice uh, let me remove it so this one's forming a pretty nice uh, pattern here right very clear resistance level at that 41.5 level and very very clear support at that 37.75 level um, if it takes that 41.5 level out then I'm looking to buy this stock next week um, but yeah overall looks really really good and also uh, potentially breaking that downtrend line if it breaks out next week but yeah this one is definitely a top watch and this one's like one of the biggest winners in 2023 so far so um yeah definitely keeping this one on the radar but yeah that's pretty much all i got for you guys for this week thank you guys for tuning in